everyone, Casino Duck here, your wannabe weekend woodworker. Well, we're back with part number five of this whole chest build. This is our gift to my sister-in-law for her wedding that's coming up very, very soon. And so let's get started with part number five. What we're doing here is something that really isn't necessary at all, but I would like to do it. I would actually like to pin these things. I think it's going to make it just a little bit more stronger, I think. Um, obviously, you know, with the trim and then with the uh, piece of plywood that we're going to put in the middle, I don't think we're really going to worry too much about the racking, though. But nevertheless, you know, this will definitely, definitely make it a little bit stronger. Just a half inch sheet of oak plywood. I'm going to cut this to size. We're going to insert this into the middle. Um, I like using this uh, plywood. Uh, it won't it won't expand, and it also will keep it very stiff and uh, resist racking. be something that my fellow carbide owners would uh, relate to. Um, it's not that the unit's bad at all. It really is pretty awesome, but it is quirky. Um, this is a uh, issue that I have a lot. Uh, it's a loose wire, uh, which causes that power fluctuation. So you just have to kind of take it apart, tighten up that one wire that comes loose all the time, and then continue on. Now with that carve right back up and running, we're gonna carve out the feet. I've never carved feet before, so this is gonna be pretty interesting. So let's see how she turns out. Let's go ahead and start on the lid while we're waiting for the carve right to do its thing. Um, we want a thicker lid, so to get that, we're going to laminate it. So, here we go. Yay, the feet are done. So let's go ahead and clean them up a little bit with that uh, sandy mop. And I went ahead and just threw the carb right down at the bottom right hand corner. For those of you who just kind of like to watch it run. And let's start cutting these puppies out. Me and minor cuts, we've never actually gotten along. It's been one of the challenges for me to get an exact miter. So online, I, I saw this. It's, it's an inch and a quarter, uh, 45 degree chamfer bit. I think that's what they call it. So I went in and purchased it, and I like it actually. I, I could put a nice, sweet 45 up to a three quarter inch stock. So that's what we're gonna go ahead and use to uh, miter off the feet.
You know, it seems every project I do, I end up right here back at the scroll saw. And this project is no, no exception, so let's scroll out some feet. Well, the feet are carved out, miters are on, and they're scrolled out. Now it's time to get these puppies in the stall. Now before we install the uh, card feet, let's make some trim so it can sit on. Now let's go ahead and get that trim installed. And now we can install some feet.
Well, it did turn out I had just a tad of a crack there on my corner. But I think that's okay, because that's what they make good old wood filler for. Um, we ran a little long on this one, but I wanted to finish up with the feet so we can continue on uh, on the next episode. Thanks, everybody, for watching. I really, really do appreciate it. And until then, we'll see you. Good night, guys. Bye-bye.